talking today with Olivier Lisoire, who is Director of Marketing Refrigeration at Amazon. Olivier, Amazon has lately developed a new CO2 spall technology for booster system, the so-called new cool. What is the new cool about? So the new cool is about a new technology for CO2 commercial refrigeration. And it has many advantages. For the OEMs first, it brings a very simple technology and system which brings high efficiency and keep it simple in all the climates. Also, it allows them to be much faster on the market because we bring a solution. And then for the end user, the advantage is that it's a, uh, it's a long-term solution using CO2 as a refrigerant. Also, it's a very low total cost of ownership, low investment, because coming from the system, low running cost and low maintenance and service cost. And last but not least, it's a very reliable solution which can run even under warm conditions. And what is so new about this technology? So the new compressor, which you can see here, is in fact a scroll, which is applied to the CO2 transcritical. This is the first time that this is happening on the market. So this is something for Copeland, which is very important because we've always been active in the scroll technology, and now we bring it to the market with the, the new cool. So the main innovation comes from the vapor injection. So you have a, an additional fitting, which allows to use the flash gas coming from the tank in a very efficient way, because it goes directly in the scroll compressor, not in the suction, like usually it's done with other technologies. So here we bring it to the right pressure level and it's the most efficient way to handle the flash gas. That way, the end user can ensure very optimum system efficiency in all climates. So this is very efficient. And then the second thing is that this is variable speed. We've got the drive, which comes with the compressor. We are using BPM motors, and those brushless permanent magnet motors are very efficient all across the range. So at the end, it's again some efficiency gain for the end users. That sounds like a revolution, CO2 refrigeration, but it's not only about the compressor and the DVI technology that makes the solution. What is in the solution? So as I explained, there is a compressor and the drive, but there are other elements of the solution. So we have the controller, so the controller is in fact the brain of the system. It makes sure that all the different components of the solution, they work well together from an efficiency and from a reliability point of view. So this is very important. Then we have some uh, valves. This is coming also from Emerson, the high pressure valves. We have also some uh, solenoids. We have also the oil management, which makes sure that you always in a, have enough oil in every single compressor. And of course, it's not only the transcritical, but it's also the subcritical compressor. It can take care of the low temperature. Like this, you have the full booster solution using the Emerson products. What is in it for the customer, for the OAM, for example, or for the installer? So what we are doing with this new cool is that we are bringing the CO2 to a different uh, market size now. So we are bringing the compressor for the convenience stores, for the discounter, where typically the cost adder of CO2 was quite high. Now with this new technology, it's simpler and it's easier to use even under high ambient. You can reduce the cost of the system by making more compact because compared to other technologies, the scroll compressor is much more compact. And by doing that, it's very convenient when you want to use it into an urban environment, like the city stores, which we know are all uh, you know, uh, picking up for the moment. So that's what we are able to deliver now with the new pool. Olivier, where can this Copeland CO2 scroll solution be best applied to? So the, the capacity range that the new cool is very well suited, it starts from 20 kilowatts up to 100 kilowatts on the medium term side, and then on the low term we can go from 5 to 50 kilowatts. So at the end, when you look to translate it into store, 
It's a convenience stores, it's a discounter, small supermarket. So it's a quite large uh, scope. And in fact, today, the CO2 was not so much implemented because of the premium cost. And with the new cool, we can bring that cost down. The other good thing coming from the, from the solution is that you are able also to make heat recovery, which is very good uh, in terms of the moving away uh, from the gas and the oil. They can do uh, the end user uh, eating in their, uh, in their store. So that's very good without using the gas. And then the other uh, advantage of the technology is that it's very compact. So uh, when you want to use the technology in uh, urban stores, it's good, not only for that reason, but also for the sound, because that runs quieter than the other technologies. And that's very, very good when you have to run into a, a, a city environment. Do you already have experience in the, in the market, in the field? So we've been testing the technology during three years in a field test. It was positively tested even during the warm uh, summers that we experimented. So not only that field test that we did, but we also did, of course, a lot of internal tests for the compressor, but also on some booster systems that we have in our, uh, in our factory. So now the technology has, uh, let's say, reached a good maturity level that we can go now to the more field experience. When do you expect that the CO2 scrawled solution for booster system will be available in the market? So uh, now we are, we are releasing the products. So starting beginning of next year, we can have some uh, limited production availability for OEMs so that they can start getting used to the products. And then during the year of 23, we will reach, let's say, a more mature production phase. So I wish you good luck for the rollout of this program. It sounds very, very impressive and interesting. And thanks for the discussion we had. Thank thanks you. Thanks, Audrey.